Good afternoon, friends. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I am Faith Storms, a licensed social worker and therapist with special interests in EFT, energy healing, and human design. If you enjoy this video, please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when I post new content. Today, I'm beginning to go into the human design. Today will be an overview of the four types in human design. And the four types is like the most important aspect in human design. If you know your type, you can start the process of discovering your nature and having a tool to accept yourself and recognize your values. This information is like having a user's manual, which allows you to live as you are designed. Powerful stuff. There are four types, the manifester, the generator, the projector, and the reflector. Now, before we go any further, if you haven't already gotten your free human design chart, please go to Jovian Archive and plug in your information and get your chart. Otherwise, what I'm about to share is going to make no sense to you. And I will put a link in the notes from this video that you can go to Jovian Archive, get a free chart, and then come back to the video to un to begin to understand your type. And so, four types. Manifester, generator, projector, and reflector. The manifester is will have one of three motors, either heart, solar plexus, or root, connected to the throat. And they have an undefined sacral center. Approximately 8% of people are manifestors. Historically, the manifester has been the high priest or king. They ruled throughout history because they were the only pure doers. They can make things happen. Their, um, their aura, their energy, I'm not going to get into that today. I'll get into that when I discuss each of the types. So each type has a strategy. The manifestors, their strategy when they are a youth, when they're a child, is to ask permission, and when they're an adult, they need to inform. Manifestors simply act on people in situations, and they get a lot of, they repel people by this, and people often don't like them because of how they go about interacting. Their strategy, their proper strategy in life is to inform. It's not that manifestors can't do things, they can. They simply need to inform the people they're about to act upon before they act upon them in order to get their cooperation, so to speak. So that, those are manifestors, 8% of the population. The most common type are generators. About 70% of the population are generators. Generators have a defined sacral center and no motor connected to their throat center. They are, you now there are two types. There are pure generators and then there are manifesting generators. The manifesting generator has a defined sacral center and a motor to the throat. So now they still have the strategy for generators is to respond. So if you are a generator, either pure generator or manifesting generator, your strategy is the same. You are to respond, which means anything that comes into your awareness, your thoughts, your sphere, your home, your social circles, your awareness is something you get to respond to. It could be yes, it could be no, it could be whatever. It, the, the response is not the issue. We are to respond to things. We are not to go make it happen. You know, the Nike, just do it. No, that is the wrong strategy for generators. Our, our energies are open and enveloping. We draw things to us. I'm a generator. We draw things to us to respond to. We have a fear that, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Like, I'm not going to have anything to respond to. That's not true. Generators, we constantly have every day. We have all sorts of stuff to respond to. Thousands and thousands of things to respond to. Thoughts, ideas, sounds, music, people, like all of this we respond to. 
So responding is key. All right, and I'll have much more to say about generators when I get to that. A third type is a projector. Projectors have no motor connected to the throat and an undefined sacral center. And projectors can have different configurations. The key with projectors is because they don't, because they possess no reliable means of their own energy, they are designed to work with the energy of others, specifically generators. Their strategy is to wait for the invitation. Again, they're not designed to just go do it, just make it happen. Only manifestors can do that. Um, and their aura, their energy is focused and absorbing. It's very directive. When I have interacted with a projector, the feeling I get is this like pointed, directed energy, like they're trying to direct energy, which if they're doing it correctly is fine. If they're not, it's annoying. <laughs> That's my personal experience of projectors. And again, I will get more into projectors when I talk about projectors. There are three types of projectors. We will get into that when we talk about projectors. The fourth type is called a reflector. <clears throat> the reflector has no definition anywhere. None of their centers are defined. Of the nine centers, zero definition. This sounds like, wow, I can't imagine having no definition in my system. So reflectors... Um, Reflectors are able to feel and experience the truth of every person in every way because they have no definition, so they experience the energy of others. And, wow. So their strategy is, is to wait. They have to wait 29.5 days. They have no fixed definition. They're only 1% of the population. I have never met a reflector. And Deborah, who I learned this from, has also never met a reflector. Now, still, I mean, there should be millions out there, you know, given we have billions of people on the world. I've never met one. Um, so to me, this sounds like it would be really difficult because I know I've had the most challenges with my open centers, especially my identity center. In, in terms of, you know, deconditioning and, and coming to acceptance of myself. So the idea of having no definition anywhere um, is kind of spooky to me. That's just me. So most of you listening to this are probably generators with a few protectors in there and maybe an occasional manifester. Now, if, if one of you is a reflector, oh my goodness, I would love to speak to you. <laughs> Um, so run your chart, see what type you are, and then begin to utilize your strategy. If you do nothing else with human design, if you just learn to use your proper strategy, you're going to see things shift. When I started utilizing my proper strategy, life worked a lot better for me. I, I had a lot less trouble. <laughs> a lot less uh, complications, a lot less frustration because for, for generators our not self theme. Like if things, if we're not operating according to how we need to, we're going to be frustrated. Oh yeah. I was frustrated when I first learned about this, about all kinds of things. As I began to respond, a lot less frustration. Things worked a lot better. So learning your type and then beginning to apply your strategy is incredible. It's, it's, it's really big. It'll make a big difference. Okay, there's the brief introduction to types and strategy. And the next video, I will get more in de I will get in detail to each of the types. Have a great day.